bees, nectar and pollination. Our story starts with a single European honeybee. It's just one of over 25 types of bees in California alone. She's cleaning her two large compound eyes before taking flight again. Even though it's early morning, this bee is already a significant distance from the hive. The exhausting work of finding the sweetest nectar, the sugary rich liquid produced within the nectary inside a flower, has been underway for some time. It's amazing how God designed the flower and bees and other creatures to benefit from each other's resources. Without bees, plants and trees would struggle to exchange pollen from flower to flower, a process that's essential in seed production. And without flowers, bees would not have the nectar and pollen to take back to the hive and produce honey, which is food for the entire colony. This is an example of a symbiotic relationship where both the plant and the bee benefit. After finding the perfect flower bed to harvest nectar, the bee must work its way past the filament, those are little red stems with the bulbs at the end of them, to get to the nectar. In this way, the flower ensures its pollen will flake off onto the bee. As long as some of it is exchanged at the next flower, pollination will successfully occur. Aside from traveling long distances, successfully detecting good sources of nectar, and communicating with her fellow hive mates, she must also contend with competition from other creatures, such as the Argentine ant. Here, they're sharing the sweet, sugary juice. But sometimes the ants can mistakenly crawl on the bee, perhaps thinking it's a filament of a flower. The hummingbird, although not aggressive towards the bees, will also compete for the same nectar. This male has a distinct advantage over the bee. The design of its long beak and even longer tongue works like a straw to suck up the nectar and allows it to hover and drink without having to struggle its way into the nectary. Just the same, there's plenty to drink for all who desire it. God has provided for all these creatures today. Our bee will soon return to the hive and deliver the nectar stored in a specially designed honey stomach. Since it's the end of November, their season for harvesting is almost over and the entire hive will soon become dormant, awaiting spring to begin the process again. It's amazing to see what God has created. These little creatures operate for months on end. They're a good example to us of hard workers who care for others in their community. Creatures is a nature show for kids that gives credit to God. Visit www.creatureshow.com to learn more.